still here too. Maybe you already knew that. But it hasn't gotten any easier. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the third sneak peek promo for Season 9, Episode 6 of The Walking Dead, Who Are You Now? With that being said, major warning is spoilers for everything in the show up to Episode 905, and let's jump right into this. So much like most of the other episodes this season, this episode appears to start out with some sort of montage introducing what the characters are up to. We have Michonne, who's monologuing the whole time, most likely paying respects to a Rick Grimes grave or memorial that they have, although it's kind of annoying that the camera never turns around to see what she's looking at. She has a horse behind her, and then during the sneak peek, she's riding on the horse as she loots a car to find a small sheriff action figure, which is obviously reminding her of Rick, so did this cause her to go visit Rick's memorial or their house or something? Actually, it looks like she's still in the woods, so is she actually talking to someone like Judith? Maybe she's talking to the action figure itself, I'm not sure, but then there's Daryl, who appears to be living alone in the woods. I heard these rumors, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be true, but apparently it is. I don't really want Daryl repeating the same storyline that Carol had when she went to go live alone in the cabin, even if Daryl is living in the woods for a different reason, like guilt over Rick, but we'll see if Daryl's story goes anywhere in the next two or three episodes. Anyways, we see Daryl hunting for fish, but right when he catches one, a zombie pops up from the river, ruining his hunting trip. He breaks his spear in half and uses it to kill the zombie, but what happened to the fish? I was thinking that he'd break it in half so he could keep the fish stabbed with one half while he kills the zombie with the other, but when he breaks the stick in half, it appears that the fish was dropped back into the water. Does Daryl not want to eat out of this river now that he knows that it's been infected with zombies, or was that just an accident? We'll probably never get an answer to it. We also get a nice shot of him noticing that a zombie is merged with a tree, providing easy access of worms for a family of birds in one of the trees above, so he decides to not kill the zombie. This zombie reminds me of the spider zombie from the premiere that Sadiq ran into, and they're both great gross as hell. It's kind of obvious CGI, but I appreciate the way that they're making the zombies more original and the way that nature is kind of taking over and they're kind of growing around the zombies as like some zombies get merged into a tree or there's spiders living in one zombie or there's worms growing out of another zombie. I'm not sure how much it actually makes sense when you think about it logically, but I mean it could happen and it's pretty cool to see. Moving on to Carol's side of things, she gets out of bed with Ezekiel and starts overlooking the kingdom before she begins gardening. I want to create an entire video on Carol after the 6 year time skip, but I feel like I'll wait until after episode 906 airs to see more of what direction they'll be taking her character in so we have more to speculate on instead of just me being like, wow, so Carol's hair am I right? One thing I will speculate on though, did Carol and Ezekiel get married during the time skip? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below and I'll elaborate on it more in a future video, but that's pretty much it for this video guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today as it really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Also follow me on Twitter too, link to both of those in the description, I'm fairly active on Twitter even when I'm not posting videos, and I'm always retweeting everything I can involving the Walking Dead universe. But anyways guys, as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!